How about Rice's performance on the first day of the Dulapalooza? We swam really well. Uh, you know, we, the score did not favor us today. Uh, we had a few close races that didn't go our way, but we also had a few that, uh, you know, we came out on top. And that's kind of how the meets go. We raced really well. Denver is a really strong opponent. Probably, you know, I, I don't know if I want to say they're the best one here, but last year's, you know, record kind of why well, would put them on top. So I was really happy with how we swam. I think, I think we had them had them running a little bit, and you know, they were really having to step up and race all the way through the end to kind of keep us because uh, we were hot on their tail. I mean, a JC's double win in the 100 fly and 200 IM and then anchoring the free relay was huge. I mean, she, so she was a winner in all those. Um, I mean, I was really happy with uh, Sarah and Hannah's 1,000. Um, Claire Therian had a really nice um, uh, 500 free. Shelby Ragsdale was a last minute ad in the 50 free and then she ended up winning it. So uh, I, I, I can't really take credit for that. I didn't quite see that coming, but I thought she'd be a solid add to that. And uh, she ended up going her best time. So, you know, uh, we had some really good swims in there. Uh, Caitlin Swinney was faster this week than last week, um, which was uh, is really a good thing. So, yeah, we were, we're really happy with how things What does Rice need to do to have a good day tomorrow, full day of, uh, of, of events tomorrow? Uh, well, uh, you know, we need to come in ready to work together as a team and then uh, and then race, you know, that's the name of the game. Race and move forward, like I told them. One race behind you, you get up and step up and go for the next one.